All right, first and foremost, I want to say Kalalali Abashi Melshai. They were honors to the elders and apostles of Great Stone and salutations to the brothers that's doing this work in sincerity and in truth. Zin, this is a dude by the name of Abraham Tursky. All right, and this lesson is basically based on, based on growing through discomfort. And as you go along, I'm going to show you, it's going to show you an, an analogy, an, an analogy based on nature that discomfort is a point where you start to, where, where you convert the mind to force it to become stronger. Understand? So without further ado, let's play this video. There's something I want to tell you about uh, the stress and how we have to look at stress, okay? And I think it's an important thing because uh, many people have told me from my lectures it's the one thing they remember, okay? And I was sitting in a dentist's office and looked at an article that said, how do lobsters grow? Well, I don't care how lobsters grow. But I was interested in it. And it points out that a lobster is a soft, bushy animal that lives inside of a rigid shell. That rigid shell does not expand. Well, how can the lobster grow? Well, as the lobster grows, that shell becomes very confining. And the, kind of the lobster feels itself under pressure and uncomfortable. It goes under a rock formation to protect itself from predatory fish, casts off the shell, and produces a new one. Well, eventually, that shell becomes very uncomfortable as it grows, right? Back under the rocks. And the lobster repeats this numerous times. The stimulus for the lobster to be able to grow is that it feels uncomfortable. Right? Now, if lobsters had... Yeah, man, that's a very significant point. I understand because a part of growing in this truth is for, for be basically faced with a position of difficulty. I understand? To be faced with a position of difficulty because to be in, to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you have to go to the straight gate. I understand? The word straight means a position of difficulty. To be able to, to grow in this truth, you have to go through stress, man. You have to go through strain. Just like when a muscle needs to be built, you have to put it to a uh, um, pressure. You understand? You have to rip it, tear it, break it down, and rebuild it, man. You see? So as the brother say, yo, the, the, the stimulus for a lobster to grow, it have to basically, it have to basically become discomfortable in a current state. You understand? So for you to be able to grow in this truth, you have to basically go through a, go through, go through a position where you become weak, man. Right? Doctors, they would never grow. Because as soon as the lobster feels uncomfortable, goes to the doctor, gets a Valium, gets a Percocet, feels fine. Never cuts off its shell. So I think that we have to realize is that we have to realize that times of stress are also times that are signals for growth. And if we use adversity properly, we can grow through adversity. Right, exactly, man. So you have to use adversity. Ad, uh, what I'm saying yo, is that if we use adversity properly, then we can grow through adversity. So now, being being in the word, being in the truth, man. Understand what is our source of strength in growing through adversity? Because our main, we have to realize that our main source of strength in this truth is Yahweh Hashem Shai. Understand because it's the most side that is putting us through through the stress, so that we can become perfect. Understand? First precept I want to get is Isaiah, book of Isaiah, chapter 40, 48, verse 10. He said, Behold, I have refined thee but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction for mine own sake. Even for my own sake will I do it, 
for my, for how should I for how should my name be polluted and I will not give my glory unto another exactly so the most I refine us to what the furnace of affliction understand because just like how Yahushai was was made perfect through um affliction we have to go through the same thing understand we have to go through the same burdens the same affliction to be able to grow just like how the the, um, the the dude give the analogy a while ago with the lobster every time every time within this truth another obstacle that we face which is stress depression um anything we are facing this treatment is supp is supposed to be able to 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 direct us deeper into the truth so that we can become stronger within the faith of your Shai. you see this is hebrews chapter 2 verse 10 it says for it became him for whom are all things and by whom all things in in bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. You understand? When you're going to the word um suffering, it said for from a presumed derivative of something undergone that is a hardship or pain subjecti subjectively on emotion or influence. Affection, affliction, motion, suffering. Exactly, man. So we have to go through a period of suffering to become mentally strong, you know? As in the scripture tells us, I have made thee as lively stones. Uh, um, basically, a stone is something that's hard, rigid, firm. As in, so just like how every time you have um, King David, Every time King David, King David is basically a perfect example because every time there is a, a point throughout, throughout in, in, in life where we are in, in basically meet a point of affliction, when source is that him turn to the Heavenly Father. You see? This is Psalms 138 verse 7 said, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou will revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. Zin, the Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure it forever, for say not the works of thine own hands. So each Psalms, or most of the Psalms and with David um produce is so basically beg the Mosai for help him, man. Help beg the Mosai for strengthen him, for revive him, to make him perfect, to endure. It's just like home, the analogy with the lobster a while ago. Every time you reach a position of discomfort, it remove the shell and go under a rock, man. The rock that we're supposed to go under within this truth is the, is, is the rock of the scripture, the word of the scriptures, man. You see it? The scripture tells that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Mosai shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That scripture can be basically um, twofold. As in, because one of the secret places of the Mosai is the word of the Heavenly Father. Man. As in, and once you dwell in that, you're going, you're going to grow firmer and firmer within the faith, within the truth, within wisdom. Man. As in, this is. Um, Book of Second Corinthians, I think it's chapter eleven, verse nine. Wait a minute. It's like a chapter twelve, verse nine. He say, and he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Understand? The Mosai strength is made perfect in weakness. The strength of Yahushai is made perfect through, through weakness. Every time we become weak, broken down 
by the afflictions of this realm, we go, we, we seek the comforter, we seek the new shell, which is the Alba Hashem El Shai. He said, for most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in mine infirmities that the power of Yahweh Shai may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress, for Yahweh Shai's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Zin, every time you become weak in this truth, you have to seek unto the Most High. Zin, seek unto the Most High where the strength lies, man. Zin, because there is a lesson to be learned from every affliction. Zin, and through the mercies of the Heavenly Father, when He revives you, you're going to become stronger, man. You're going to, you're going to become firmer within this truth, man. Zin, and I believe that the point was made. As in, you become stronger to affliction, it's stronger to adversity, as long as you put your faith and trust in the heavenly Father, man. As in, because that is the rock which you're supposed to hide under you, as in, so that you can grow and become stronger. As in, with that, Shalom.